Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Queen Trent. It's Saturday, let's have some fun. I've got a, what is it, five by seven piece of Arches 100% cotton paper, watercolor paper today. And I've got all my paints over here, different colors, variations. You can do whatever colors you want. I have mixed paints of, um, I list them often. These are uh, Kiritake watercolors. These are Japanese watercolors. I use sometimes Munzo Newton. I use some wash. I use Dr. Martin uh, concentrated watercolor. I also use Art Philosophy concentrated watercolors. I mix them all up. I don't need to use one particular type of brand. Um, just the variations and the different types make it more interesting when you make colors. So let's get started. I actually sketched out a little butterfly for something simple today. I can sketch out a butterfly and let's have some fun with this butterfly. I'm going to grab my, what is this brush? The Princeton Select number eight. Get some water on there. So you got the petal, I mean the wings sketched out the middle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some flowers inside the butterfly. Excuse me, my chair is making noise. And this color is gonna be very watery, loose, like a plum color here. Actually, I'm gonna start off with that very um, orangey color. Just make like a little round flower. Kind of brush strokes around it, kind of like a rose if you want to do that. Just round. And then we'll get some pink. I'm gonna water down this pink because this pink is a little too bright. We'll do that over here. Make like a rose. See so you start like a swipe, 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 swipe. And then as you go out you add some water to it. If you want it to bleed, soften the edges, just add water to it. I'll bleed that. Do that same color over here. Now you don't have to use these colors. I mean, you can use all blues, which would be nice. Kind of keep this in hot color tones, kind of fallish colors. Make that orange a little more intense. Just smacking in the middle right there. Boom, boom. Very exciting. I'm gonna grab plumish color. If that's even a word. Put one of those out here. Just putting little lines. If you can see this, it blows up a little more. A line, a line, a line. Like that, just little lines. And then you grab clean water on your brush and you're just dabbing the outside pulling the color out that's how you get that soft bleed and then you're touching the paper towel you're touching the outside touching the paper towel and see how it bleeds like that gives it this halo effect and you can go in and you can put real concentrated plum color right in the middle and watch it bleed out watch that Boom. Isn't that exciting? Boom. <laughs> yes, you know it's Saturday. Over here, we're gonna add another little color. I'll do some warm, excuse my growling dog. This is a live tutorial. If he sees anybody, he's a protector. And that's a little too bright. So I'm gonna have to soften that. Mm, brown. Meh, still not liking that. See, this happens. This is real time, people. Gonna add orange. And just pardon the barking, people. That's my golden doodle, Brady. He is the protector of the studio. Okay. We're gonna keep continuing, Brady. Okay. Okay. Good. 
gonna add some bright flowers here. Again, just the circle movement. And then I think over here, I'm just gonna just add, you know, just watered down color, like a pink. Just water it down, water it down. Just like a little section. So you can see it hit the edge of the butterfly. And I'll do that same thing with an orange color over here, hitting the edge of the butterfly's wings. So you can see the shape coming up to here. I know Brady, Brady wants to go out and play. You're gonna have to wait a few minutes, buddy. If you ever watch my Instagram stories, you'll see my dog in there often. Um, you can find the link right up in the top page of the YouTube. Uh, on the profile banner, you'll see the little link to my Instagram. He is the star of the stories. So we're just adding some background color. And you can start to see the shapes of the wings. Now I'm going to add in some leaves. I'm going to get some dark green, dark brownish green. I'm not gonna touch this area yet because it's wet. And when it's wet, it's just gonna bleed. Oh, see, it's bleeding right now. So what I'm gonna do is blow dry this and get back to you. Okay, we're back again. <laughs> so I blew dry. Adding some petals around the flowers in this deep, brownish green. I'm going to add brown stem over here, here, up here, over here, over here. I'm going to add a few more petals up this way, but they're going to be more of a lime brown green. You see over here. I can't see I'm mixing it. It's over here. Do you want a variety of green color? If they're coming out of the shape of the butterfly wings, that's perfectly fine. It gives it more variety. Okay, I'm going to add some more flowers up here. A bright pink. I'm kind of liking that, so I'm going to add a few more. Maybe take a little color away. It's a little bright. And add it to this flower down here. And even add it to the real faded pale pink one. Up here. So now you can see it's turned into more of a rose. This still looks like a blob, so I'm going to add some more orange, deeper orange to the center. And this too. Get a little bright. Now I'm liking the purple, and I feel like there's nothing down here. So I'm going to add, oh, it's a little too dark. Just take away. You can add and take away. Get the water on the back end of it to bleed it out.
adding some more those bright flowers a plumber color hopefully my dog won't bark again so just playing around with adding and subtracting maybe a little branch here Otherwise, they look like they're floating, right? For no particular reason. More leaves. Let's add the center of the butterfly. Let's add the center. Make that black. little antennae you know what I like to do when all these fun floral butterflies is that why have boring antennae when you can add a flower to it get a daisy rose whatever you feel like now here I'm gonna put some more background color Connecting it to the body of the butterfly. This is all playing around. Nothing is set in stone. Adding some more dark color. Oh, now I see that blood. We will have to fix that. Add the black. And purple flower over here. Okay, I'm going to try this again and come back. Okay, I dried it. I'm going to take some white gouache because you can go on top of any watercolor with white. Make some little lines for a little butterfly. And then I'm going to take the small, um, the small brush that I'm using is <clears throat> a Grumbacher number two Golden Edge. Take some of the black. Come back in here. Sorry. And then I'm just going to do a little swash highlights. Get the shape of the butterfly. Remember, just it's kind of like a doodle. Have a little fun with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You could even just go like this, make the little dashes like it's flying, highlighting the edges. And then you could actually go in and highlight the flowers, which would be fun, fun. Not everywhere, just little bits and pieces. Just like I'm showing here, like on the edge of the petal. Sometimes people overdo it and then it's not pretty, it's kind of ugly when you put too much black. Just the edge of the petal. Just a little bit. Start to make it more 3D. And you can do 
more fun things in the little lines. On the edges, highlight the flowers. Get creative. It's all about having fun. You can add dots. And then you could have said, oh, why did you even put the black in? I liked it without it. Well, that's true. You can do that too. You didn't have to add that. Like I said, you have to play around. Sometimes I like to add it, sometimes I don't. It's just something different. You can do just a little, put another daisy up here. Add a stem, some leaves. Just keep playing around. This is more like a doodle now. See? Add in the flower. Add in the leaves. Just keep playing around until you get the image that you're looking for. And hell, you might not even like this, but it's all fun. Oh, and there you have it. Simple Saturday fun, butterfly. If you like this and enjoy this, please like and subscribe, share. I appreciate you coming to my channel and have a great weekend. Bye everyone.